and welcome back to my new everyday makeup routine. I asked you guys on my Snapchat, I am in the throw on Snapchat if you don't already follow me, but I asked you guys if you wanted to see my kind of everyday makeup routine I've been doing on Snapchat, I've been doing on Instagram, everywhere that you see the picture of me I've been doing the same makeup for about two months and I asked you guys to let me know if you liked it and if you wanted to see my full kind of new everyday makeup routine and so many of you said you did so this is kind of for you guys so if you would like to see what I do every single day for my everyday makeup then just keep on watching hey, oldie but a goodie starting off with a lush million dollar moisturizer because as always it's just that perfect illuminating base and it's super moisturizing it smells amazing now, in honesty, I've been tanning a lot recently, which means my foundations have been changing ever so slightly. For example, the Maestro Glow by Armani is still like my absolute favourite, but it depends how light I am, and at the moment I've not got much tan on. So, I've been slightly mixing it with the Infallible, L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour. Sometimes I mix with Charlotte Tilbury, sometimes I mix with Tarte Amazonian Clay, it depends on the day. This is number two. Okay, and with that I'm just going to use a damp beauty blender. So I just use the beauty blender to dab this all over my face because I just find it distributes the product quite naturally and flawlessly. It gives such a lovely dewy, illuminous finish. For concealing, I'm back to the MAC Prep and Prime but this time I'm using the medium shade which is actually quite a light shade. I find, I mean I love light boost as well because it's more yellow toned but I never really explored the other shades they do and this is so perfect for me. And again with the damp beauty blender just going to dab that in. So my favourite thing in the world right now is this palette, it's the iconic London palette and inside it has six shades, all very well used because I just love this thing to pieces. It's got a highlight, a banana colour a more concealer shade and then these two I don't really use because they're quite dark for me but this one in the middle is like my contour shade so what I like to do now take a little bit of the banana a little bit of the concealer shade onto my damp beauty blender and I'll just sort of start patting in underneath my eyes just as a bit of extra concealing but I almost use these colours almost as like part foundation because I just like to pack it on everywhere and it's such an easy product to use and then I also like to take the bottom of the beauty blender and then I'll dip into this more highlight shade and then I'll just dab a little bit of this onto my cheekbone and because my face is quite illuminated right now anyway because we've been using a lot of cream products it's easy to see this almost dewy glow along my cheekbone so just follow that and add a little bit more so now my favourite bit is contouring with this middle shade and I'm going to use my Real Techniques blending sponge this time. So I'm just patting into there, pat a little bit off on your hand just so you know how much product you've got. And then I literally just follow the natural shadow of my cheekbone here. Kind of keeping a sponge on the side so it kind of creates this contoured line. It's super easy. And then onto the sides of my forehead. Just blend out the edges a little bit, just to make sure everything is blended and really perfect. I'm going to move into a bit of powder, just for my under eyes. I'm using the Rodial Banana Powder and the Armani Powder Brush, I think this one is. So I like to powder my chin, my under eyes, my eyelids, end of my nose and the crook of my nose here where it meets my forehead and a little bit of my forehead. Pretty much everything down the centre. For the rest of the base I'm going to go in with the Clarins. This is a limited edition bronzing blush compact for summer but it's just beautiful like bronzer. It's got the blush in the centre if you like that. But I like to sort of go around the very edge. This is with the Armani face brush I think. And all I do with this is just add a little bit of the powder onto where we've bronzed. I almost find it sets that a little bit better and just adds a little bit more colour. 
but overall it just enhances that bronze and I'll build that down my cheeks and down onto my neck. Finish off my cheeks, I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match Highlight, I'm pretty sure this must be out now, if not it'll be out so soon. This is the rosy shade, rosy glow, it's a very pretty highlight shade, but I just like to use the pinky tones here and I work those onto my cheeks. So this is actually a highlight, it's not really a blush but I like to use it as a very bright blush. Then what I'll do is either take the same brush or I'll use like a tapered brush and I'll go more into the white and I'll just pop a bit of that onto my very tops of my cheeks. And a little bit into my brow. And my cupid bow. Okay, so that is the base done. It's just very bright and dewy and radiant, but that is literally how I've been loving it every single day. Because I mean, it's summer. Okay, my hair was annoying me, so I'm just taking it out. It's all good. We're nearly kind of coming to the end. Right, so um, in terms of eyeshadow, I'm really into the whole like bronzer look. Using your bronzer as your eyeshadow is just the easiest way and the simplest way of getting an eyeshadow shade. But I'm really enjoying this one because it's got quite an orangey tone, especially if you kind of mix everything together. So I'm just literally going to use this right into the crease. Like this could not be any simpler, but I'm just, it's just my quick everyday routine. It's a little bit onto the under eyes, just so it all kind of works in together. Also, I usually take a little bit more of a darker colour and I work that a little bit more into the crease. It's just, it's just a big blending game, really. But then, what I like to take is this palette by Dior, which is the iReviver Backstage Pro palette. It looks something like this, which is very pretty. Some days I will just use this brown shade as well, mix it up, and I take the Sigma E40 blending brush with this cream. This cream is the perfect uh, brow bone shade, so I literally use it on my brow bone whilst also using it to blend out the very top of that eyeshadow. Just blends out really nicely. And then for a little bit of inner corner highlight I go with the L'Oreal. Colorish La Palette Nude in the rosy, the rose shade. And as always, I take this lovely light colour on the brush it comes with, that never happens usually, but I love it. And I just pop that into my inner corners. And that generally is like my everyday eyes. It's literally that simple. Now and again though, I will mix it up and instead go with this shade from the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. Or I'll add a little bit over the top, because this is just a little bit more shimmery and glowy. So obviously you don't need to do this step, but if I've got a little bit more time, I'll just add a little bit more shade. Very similar shades, it's a little bit more shimmery. To finish off the eyes first, I'm just going to go with those. Do some mascara. At the moment I've got a lash lift, so my lashes are so much better, but I'm just going to plump them up once anyway. Two favourite mascaras for this, the Estee Edit, I've been using this for about a month and a half now, absolutely in love with it with the two different sides. And then the Lash L'Oreal False Lash Sculpt mascara as well. And since getting my lashes back again, this has been my go-to again, so I'm going to go for this one. This is the one that kind of gives me, gets me the most compliments when people see it. literally this mascara, for someone like me who hates my lashes, um, this literally does look like I'm wearing falsies. That is mascara done and you'll notice I don't have any eyeliner on, which is quite different for me in my usual style, but with it being summer, um, I don't know, I've just really gone away from eyeliner recently. If I'm going for more of a night out, I will put on some cat eye um, eyeliner, but usually it's just big lashes for me now. I'm really enjoying it. Okay, the thing that's missing, which is probably why I still look a bit weird, is my brows. So I'm just going to use my usual Armani brush. Um, if I could recommend one brush to you, it would be this Armani spoolie brush. And I'm still on the Armani wedge brows. 
quickly whiz through this because you've seen this 1,000 million times before. Okay, so that is brows done, pretty much the whole face apart from lips. So I'm just going to quickly set with the Emma Decay Makeup Setting Spray Long Lasting. Now for lips, I have been on the liquid lipstick bandwagon now for probably two months or so. That's pretty much all I've been wearing, like the matte nude lip. And I've been mixing up between a few different ones. Usually Anastasia Beverly Hills Crush is like my favourite. Pure Hollywood, which I have here as well. And also, this is kind of new to my collection, but I've been wearing it for the last week. And this is Kat Von D Bow and Arrow. So I thought I'd kind of show you what I've been doing kind of with a mixture of these. So I thought I'd show you this one. So I'd go around the very edges and then I'll fill in like once. So that is Kat Von D Bow and Arrow, which is super like stone nude. So with this one, I found the Anastasia liquid lip in pure Hollywood is gorgeous. So I just add some to the centre, pat that in with your finger. And there we go, that is my everyday makeup routine finished. It's quite a lot less products than I would usually use quite often. I've tried to kind of scale it all back, use the very, very best of what I've got. And that concealer palette is kind of perfect for doing everything. So it kind of reduces down how many products I need to use. So this is what I've literally been doing for the past few months. So in every picture I've been doing, every Snapchat, so many of you have wanted to see this, so I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a like, and if you're new, then please subscribe to this channel. I do two videos every single week. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon, guys. Bye! Mwah!